One of the differential features of a great nation is its ability to rise after collapse, no matter how excruciating its humiliation would be. But when the time comes, it will gather its scattered strength and embody it in one great man. Vasily Kluchevsky, the role of Saint Sergius of Radonish for the Russian nation and country. Sergius of Radonish has already been one of the most highly venerated saints of the Russian Orthodox Church for seven centuries. He was a spiritual leader, the greatest devotee and hermit of our country, a founder of Russian spiritual culture, a monastic reformer and the gatherer of the lands of Rus. The date of his birth is unclear. It could be 1314, 1319 or 1322. Sergius' medieval biography states that he was born to Kirill and Maria, a Boyer family, in a village in the area which is within the Rostov Principality, not very close to the city of Rostov. It is considered that it is the village Vanitsa. The future saint received the baptismal name of Bartholomew in honor of one of the apostles of Jesus Christ. It's believed that the Lord chose St. Sergius while still in his mother's womb. In the life of the saint it is reported that even before the birth of her son, St. Maria and those praying in the church heard the thrice repeated cry of the infant at the divine liturgy. From his very first days of life the infant amazed everyone by his fasting. On Wednesday and Fridays he would not accept meal from his mother. Since childhood Bartholomew had been a very obedient and kind boy, helped his parents, fasted and prayed to God. Unlike other children, he did not like games, uh, preferring to be alone. Although an intelligent boy, Bartholomew had a great difficulty learning to read. His biography states that a spiritual elder met Bartholomew one day and gave him a piece of holy bread to eat and from that day forward the boy was able to read. When the principality of Rostov fell into the hands of Prince Ivan Danilovich of the Grand Duchy of Moscow, Bartholomew's parents Kirill and Maria became impoverished and had to move to Radonish together with their three sons. Stefan, Bartholomew and Peter. Upon his parents' death, Bartholomew headed to Khachkovo Monastery near Moscow, where his older brother Stefan was a monk. He persuaded Stefan to find a more secluded place to live their ascetic life. In the deep forest at the Makovets Hill, they decided to build a small cell and a church dedicated in honor of the Holy Trinity. Thus started the history of the great trinity St. Georgius Lavra. In time Stefan moved to a monastery in Moscow, failing to get used to such ascetic life. Varfalame took monastic vows, taking the name Sergius and spent more than a year in the forest alone as a hermit. It was a hard time full of many difficulties and temptations of his soul. It was said that one day a sick and hungry bear came to the cell and the monk fed the animal with bread he had. Since that time, the bear was a frequent visitor of Sergius. Sergius' ascetic life, devoted to God, didn't remain unseen by people, as a city set upon the mount is not able to be hid. And soon other monks started coming to him and building their own cells. He was an example of godlikeness sincerity, diligence. Sergius and his community helped many people during the time of Great Plague. They fed, cured and took care of people in need. After some time, monks persuaded Sergius to become their hegumen or father superior and he was ordained to the priesthood. Over time, more and more monks and donations came to the Makovets Hill. Nearby there appeared a posad which grew in the town of Sergius Passat and other villages. But his life wasn't easy as some monks envied him and tried to make him leave his post of Hegumen. One day they did it. 
he left the monastery without saying a word. In three years after long persuading of his uh, disciples, Sergius of Radonish returned to Makovitz Hill as a father superior again. Sergius began to reform the monastic life, improving many of its sites. During the reign of Prince Mitridanskoy, the disciples of the spiritual elder started to spread his teaching across central and northern Russia. They settled intentionally in the most impracticable places and found monasteries there. All in all, the disciples of Sergius founded about 40 monasteries, thus greatly extending the geographical extent of his influence and authority. However, when Metropolitan Alexius asked him to become his successor, Sergius declined, preferring to remain a simple monk. As an ascetic, Sergius did not take part in the political life of the country. However, he often reconciled princes who were at enmity with each other. Also, Sergius persuaded some princes to obey Mitridanskoy. And here the main event was blessing. The great prince of Moscow and Mitri went to fight the Mongols in the Battle of Kulikova field. The spiritual elder also blessed and sent to his monks to fight with the prince. In this blessing of Dmitri, the various and boyars saw the will of God to defeat the pagan horde. Since the time Mongol influence began to wane, and soon the domination of horde in Russia was over. People considered Sergius of Radonish to be a miracle maker. By means of his prayer to God, he produced a source of water when the monastery needed it. The saint raised the son of the peasant from death. Also, the spiritual elder cured diseases and exorcised demons, being able to predict the future and see the past. According to his biography, one day he was visited by Virgin Mary and Apostles Peter and John. Sergius died on the 25th of September in 1392 and was glorified in 1452. His incorrupt relics were found in 1422 and placed in the new Trinity Cathedral of the Lavra, which the saint founded. Among the many affectionate titles given Sergius, he has been referred as the Abbot of Russia and the Valiant Voivod of the Russian land. In the spiritual symbolic gathering together of Rus in unity and love, the historical effort of the nation became a temple of the life-creating trinity built by St. Georges, so that by constant attention to it would be conquered the fright of the hateful discord of this world. The worship of the Holy Trinity in forms created and bequeathed by the Holy Hegumen Sergio of Radonish became one of the most profound and original of features of Russian ecclesiality. With Sergio of Radonish and the life-creating Trinity, there was posited not only the holy perfection of life eternal, but also a model for human life, a spiritual ideal towards which mankind ought to strive. Be attentive to yourselves, having fear of God, purity of souls, and sincere love. Add to this humility, obedience, fast, and prayer. Don't love honor and glory, but most of all fear and remember the hour of death.